Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Want to talk to you a little bit about two of the hottest finesse techniques around today. Wacky rigging and Nico rigging. Want to talk to you a little bit about how I rig them and the differences between the two. And most importantly, when I use one over the other. You know, the one commonality, big commonality between wacky rigging and Nico rigging is the hook. And I'm using the same exact hook for both techniques. I'm a huge fan of the VMC Nico hook in both the weedless model and the non-weedless. For fishing around cover, without a doubt, that weedless Nico hook is my favorite. I can fish it around trees, docks, rocks, brush, anything, and it, it won't get snagged. But I prefer a number one or a number two VMC Nico hook. And the other commonality is my VMC O-rings. I use that on both techniques. But let's start with wacky rigging first. Get your favorite straight tail worm, soft stick bait, and I'm basically gonna get this tool, and in wacky rigging, I want that O-ring to go dead middle, dead center of the bait. So I like to push that bait down right dead middle of the bait, and then you just get your O-ring and you get it started down that tool and it's going to expand that o-ring and once you get to the middle of the bait i bring it off the tool onto the worm now i'm dead middle of that bait my o-ring is dead middle and for wacky rigging most of the time i fish this bait weightless i go through the bait under the ring and there you have a weightless wacky rig the times i want to use this are in more shallow horizontal environments. So when I'm fishing shallow pockets where they're moving up the spawn, massive gravel flats where the targets aren't necessarily obvious, when I'm covering water and fishing horizontal environments, I prefer that weightless wacky rig. Same hook I'm going to use for Nico rigging. And Nico rigging, same thing, I'm using my VMC wacky rig tool. But this time, instead of putting it halfway in the middle of the bait, I'm gonna go three quarters of the way toward the fat end of that plastic. Whether you're using a straight tail worm or a soft stick bait, I'm gonna go three quarters of the way toward the fat end of that bait. So I'm gonna stick it in my tool. Same thing, I'm gonna get my O-ring and expand it, get it all stretched out there on that deal pull it onto the bait three quarters of the way down toward the fat end okay if you look at it now my o-rings about three quarters of the way down and this time instead of fishing it weightless i'm going to use an insert weight vmc makes a couple great style styles of insert weights but my favorite is that that half moon that half moon wacky weight is such a good style weight and i'm going to insert that nail style weight into the fat end of the bait and i like to keep it nice and straight and now that you see it you've got a vmc o-ring three quarters of the way down toward the fat end you've got your little weight vmc weight that's a half moon uh, size of the weight i'll use anywhere from a sixteenth of an ounce all the way up to a quarter depending on the depth and then finally, I'm gonna go in with that same hook and I'm gonna go under the O-ring and back up. And now I've got the Nico rig. And the Nico rig, to me, is better for vertical conditions. So when I'm fishing deeper water drops, seawalls, bridge pilings, docks that are in deeper water, or when I'm fishing cover that has a vertical edge, any kind of cover where I want that bait falling straight down, that's when I'm gonna choose the Nico rig over the, the weedless wacky. You know, the actions of these two baits are really different. The weightless wacky has, and if I do this, you can kind of get a feeling for what it does. It has a slow shake on the fall. Where Nico, as it falls, because of that weight, you're gonna get a faster, more erratic fall. And once it hits the bottom, I do a lot of shaking with the rod. 
and it creates a motion that I, I call it a pecking motion, which is that VMC weight, half moon weight, is pecking on the bottom as you shake your rod tip. Tail up, head down, pecking on the bottom, and it's one of the reasons it's so good for vertical situations. Man, I'll tell you, two great styles of fishing, uh, weightless, wacky, and of course, the Nico rig with one great style hook. That's the VMC Nico hook in both the non-weedless and weedless model. The thing about both those systems with this hook is when you get a bite, you land the fish. That design of that VMC Nico hook, I almost call it a hybrid design, is such that once you get that hook in them, you very, very rarely lose that fish. It's almost 100% bite to catch ratio. And that's what makes that hook special. You know, for both those techniques, Nico and Wacky, I use the same basic setup. To me, this is a finesse spinning rod approach. And I like a seven to seven two medium action spinning rod. Uh, really, really prefer that straight medium action. And the line, I like the mix of braid to a floor leader. I like to use from six to 10 pound braid with about a two or three foot fluorocarbon leader. And the same thing, I like to go a little lighter on that fluorocarbon. I'll fish six to 10 pound fluorocarbon. And that really allows me to put the bait places to have zero stretch. I can make a really long cast like that to that boat ramp. And when that fish bites it, I can still get a positive hook set on it. The other great thing about braid to a floor leader is you've got a lot more control of that fish. Uh, if that fish gets around a piece of cover or vegetation, tries to wrap you up under a dock piling, you've got a lot more control with a braid to a floor leader. We're getting ready to enter a flat, really flat pocket here, flat bay, and um, we're gonna see a lot of different targets. And what we're looking at right now is we're looking at more vertical, isolated targets. We've got a few cypress trees here, but I really want you to look at what we have right here. It's almost like it's, it's a little entrance, almost like a seawall with some pilings, and it's very vertical. There's about three or four feet off that wall that drops straight down. It's got a vertical nature to it. So for that vertical fishing, the Nico rig is what I prefer. This is the Nico rig with that VMC uh, half moon uh, wacky weight in it. And because of that, I can fish it straight along these vertical areas. I like to let that bait hit the bottom, and once it hits the bottom, Nico rigging to me is all about the shaking. You really want to get that bait pecking on the bottom. And that really looks natural. If you've ever seen a bluegill, a dace, suckers, chub, any of those species, that forage pecks at the bottom. They peck at the bottom, they're picking up little stuff, and that pecking motion is real natural. Here's another piling that's in about three and a half, four feet of water. And so for that vertical cover, I prefer the Nico rig. Once that Nico hits the bottom, boom, I see the line bellow out and I begin my shaking. And if you look at my rod, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about one o'clock rod position, one or two o'clock, and I'm just using the tip of that medium action rod to shake. And in clear water, when you see this technique, you really see that VMC half moon uh, wacky rig weight, Nico weight, pecking the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. A little bit of dust, a little bit of silt is coming off the bottom. And that looks so natural, those, those fish can't resist it. There you go. Here's one. Good one too. Really good one. Big one, I think. Pretty sure that's a big one. Go back on my drink. Oh my God, it's a big one. Don't you do it. Take your time. Slow. Take your time, baby. Take your time. Take your time. Come here. Come here. Got her. Look at that. Perfect example of what shaking that Nico rig does. It's on the end of a dock post, just shaking it, making that thing peck. And I want you to look at that. I've said it before, but the beauty of the VMC Nico hook both the weedless and non-weedless, is the hookup percentage. Almost 100% bite to catch ratio every time. And look where he's hooked. That's where you want him pinned every time, right in the top of the mouth. The design of that hook, that hybrid design, 
pins them. And if you take your time, you can land them. Look at that giant, big female. Mwah. I hope I answered some of your questions about when to wacky rig and when to Nico rig. Tie them on your favorite spinning rod. I guarantee you're going to get some bites.